Good afternoon. Welcome to the NASA Social at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Woo! We are here today to talk about the research going aboard the International Space Station launching on SpaceX. Not only is the International Space Station important for us learning how to do research, learning how humans adapt in low Earth orbit, uh, and in space, for long duration space game, but it's also a great platform for researchers down here on Earth to do experiments. And joining us here in the audience are our social media followers. We selected about 50 social media followers to come out here, get behind the scenes experience, to learn about what's happening here at Kenny Space Center, and to learn about the cargo going up to the space station aboard SpaceX Dragon, and also, hopefully, see a launch at 12.45 a.m. Eastern time. What? Yes. Space madness. I'll take a question over there. <laughs> I know about science. The IEA 3 will be docking immediately. <laughs> goodness where did the day go it is almost 11 o'clock we're all supposed to meet at the press accreditation accreditation center and go watch the launch this is gonna be a really good one I've been talking to some veterans about the launch like what to expect in this one girl was telling me when you hear the sound because you can see it on television but when you hear the sound. In 500 feet, turn right onto Florida A1A North. Let's turn this down. She was saying that when you hear the sound, like it's not just hearing it, like you feel, you feel the energy and the power in your bones. And I was like, damn, pretty excited about that. I kind of want to just break down what the fuck is happening because I didn't know. So this launch is called, I think it's a CRS, as you know, there's a lot of acronyms. The Falcon 9, which is the rocket, is gonna go up in the air, and the Dragon, which was created by SpaceX, is the capsule on the top that is holding the cargo for the ISS. So the Dragon is going up, and it's carrying about, I don't know, like 2,300 pounds, something ridiculous of cargo for the ship and the crew. And it also includes a lot of science experiments. And that is kind of one of the biggest purposes of the International Space Station, ISS. It's to conduct experiments that they can't actually do on the ground. One of the biggest things that I'm stoked about tonight is that the Falcon 9 is gonna launch and then 10 minutes later, it's gonna land back. That is the purpose of a reusable rocket. Goes up, Dragon detaches, goes up towards the ISS, and then the Falcon 9 is gonna come back to the ground so that they can like ship more stuff up there later for later launches. That's, that's, that's really fucking cool. We're in a place now where it's, launches are gonna happen all the time. So that was a really long explanation, but now you got some space nuggets in your brain. We are about to watch the launch. You feel it in your bones. You feel it in your bones. That is why this launch is so important to be in person. Because you can feel. Absolutely. You, you can't, you can't watch like this on the internet. Like we're only going to be able to show it in our face. So when the rocket goes up, it's just to go. And we're going to be like. <laughs> You gotta do the camera <laughs> There it is. Hey, we're in a rocket launch. <laughs> it's gonna be so good, my first one. I don't wanna show what's happening here. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off, lift off, 9.
We have stage separation. Stage one has entered its flip. Second stage ignition sensor. Stage one boost back is starting. Oh my gosh. On a scale from one to 10, how insane. Oh yes. my goodness, that's amazing. I enjoyed, the launch was amazing. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's, oh! Stage one landing burn has started. Landing legs have deployed. Wow. Stay, 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 stay up, stay up. Woo! Woo! LZ-1, Falcon 9 has landed. Landing operators moving to procedure 11.100 on recovery and LZ-1 A net. Oh my gosh, that's so great. And, and what's even crazier is that about um, five hours ago, we saw the Falcon 9, and it's huge! To land something like that from the sky, wait, hold on. To launch like something that huge into the sky, and then have it come back on the ground vertical, I, I can barely stand up straight. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the, one of the best experiences I've ever had in my entire life, and it's not gonna end because we're gonna, Go, we're going to space. Like we're going to Mars. Mars or bus, guys. Puno. What? Oh no. <laughs> That's true. They're saying that they forgot me because I have my jumpsuit on. Do you know the uh, rocket ship? The what? The rocket ship. The one that we just saw. The one, the one that we just saw. So when we fist bump, uh huh. You go like this and go. Like, okay. Oh, I like it. Okay, no, no, we're safe. <laughs>